Tonight, a First Coast News exclusive on a sunken habitat. A barge is designed to float, but the goal was to sink one particular barge this summer so it be could become an artificial reef. Our Jessica Clark was the only reporter who boarded a boat to show you what it looks like when a barge sinks. It's a story you'll only see on First Coast News tonight. Early one morning this summer, as the sun pushed above the horizon, it is going to be bumpy. Captain Will Hinton and his team headed off Jacksonville's coast, bound to meet up with a barge already in place. We're joining the party. Where do you want us? The retired barge from Mobro Marine in Green Coast Springs had been gutted and cleaned. They want to make sure that it's safe for the environment. It was then pulled out by a tugboat and was ready to sink to its new home, 90 feet below the ocean's surface, to become an artificial reef. The goal? To create new habitat offshore. Joe Kistel has sunk other vessels to create artificial reefs. Three years ago, he sunk two sizable boats in one day, and they are now artificial reefs about 1,000 feet away from where the barge will be. Two Two years later, this is what they look like. The wrecks that we dive all the time. We had numerous Goliath grouper, saw bull shark, whole bunch of lionfish, cobia. The diving offshore here alone is, is amazing. Hinton and his crew run a recreational diving company, taking customers to see the deeper side of the first coast. It's just a lot of life here in Jacksonville because we don't have the same uh, amount of divers as we do down south in Florida. The Jacksonville Sheriff's dive team even practices on these recently created artificial reefs. These reefs are also hot spots for fishermen, fishing and diving, multi-million dollar industries in Florida. A little bit of water coming in the bowl holes. This is the first time actually getting to witness a new artificial reef being dropped. It's hard to tell just how big this barge is when it's out here in the water. It's 175 feet long. That's the equivalent of a 17-story building laying on its side. Well, all it is is a metal box that floats. So Kistel and his team, who were on the barge, filled it with water by pumping water into it. But it seems like you get to this critical point where things start to go fast. Holes have been created on the barge's side, letting waves flow in. Coastal Conservation Association and golfer Cameron Smith helped foot the bill. And once the barge was full of water, and then it's like we got to get off. That goes for everybody at every pump on the barge. We're safely off the barge, and now we're just going to let it do its thing. As it starts to lean, come on, right yourself. There's a chance the barge will flip, air. landing upside down. Whew. If it flips, that's not good. So it was a little bit of a, a nail-biting uh, moment. We do prefer the vessel to be in an upright orientation. That's because it makes for better diving. And if the barge lands upside down, all of the cameras on the barge are lost. And then... Oh, there she goes. Woo. Thank you, everybody. Great job. <laughs> the top of the helm. Okay. If it's right side up. Now, time to check it out. And the barge is. Yeah, it's right set up. And the cameras captured video rarely seen of a barge sinking below the waves. It's a very unique way to recycle. Kistel foresees this can become this within two years. It's kind of a euphoric moment to see that you, you basically are able to turn in a somewhat barren area seafloor into this thriving habitat. I mean, this is, is doing a good thing for the environment. It means new destinations where fishermen and scuba divers can go to. The art and science to take an old barge that had a 40 year life already and give it another 50 years life offshore. And I just think that's amazing. Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.